19 families in Point Fortin who were adversely affected by an unusual weather event earlier this month have received assistance from the National Commission for Self-Help. On October 9th, vendors at the Point Fortin Farmers Market had to run for cover after isolated thunder showers accompanied by gusty winds resulted in tents being blown away. Several residents of Warden Road and Environs were also affected by the freak storm after roofs were blown off or damaged by fallen trees. Member of Parliament 4.14, Kennedy Richards, recalls he was in the Parliament when he got the news. And that event was one that is um, very much unprecedented. The wind came from the opposite direction that it normally um, comes from, and it caused some mass destruction in the village that I reside in. And um, on that day, unfortunately, I wasn't able to, to be there physically because that was the second day, first day of the budget debate in the parliament. And, you know, I wondered what to do. And I, I decided to pick up my phone and, and, and get into action. MP Richards is pleased with the swift action by the Self-Help Commission to get assistance to the affected families. He's now calling on the business community and contractors in Point Fortin to assist with rebuilding the homes. A total of $457,000 was distributed among the 19 families. South Senior Project Officer for the Self-Help Commission, Gary Romain, says in the throes of the COVID-19 global pandemic, agencies like Self-Help become more relevant. We rely on our inner strength and support systems more than ever before to rise above this experience. According to Mr. Romain, the Self-Help Commission has distributed $2 million since the beginning of the new financial year on October 1st.